Good morning, this is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church, and we hope you're having a good week this week. We move from the book of Amos today to the book of Micah, one of my favorite books. Because in Micah chapter 6, we have a challenge from God. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. That's a pretty big command. If we don't know the context of that verse, we could get the impression that God isn't asking much from us at all. Just some justice, kindness, and humility. However, the truth is that these words follow a list of religious sacrificial acts that people thought would make God happy. What God was trying to tell them is, don't bother with all of those things. But just remember these three. He's not saying that this will be a simple matter or that it can be done in a little bit of your spare time. So we want to take a look at these three things this morning and see how they fit into your everyday life. How do you go about to act justly? Well, that can take place in a number of ways. Treating people the same way that you want to be treated. Everyone who tries to do the will of God has favorite summaries of it. One is the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Another is from the Gospel of John. To glorify God. And Micah? Well, this is just one more way. To act justly. What each has in common is its impossibility. We fail to abide by them perfectly. The second one is to love mercy. How do you love mercy? And what is mercy? Mercy is treating someone even better than you would expect to be treated. It's taking that extra step to do something for someone that takes you out of the way of your normal comfort zone and places you in a whole new realm to have an opportunity to do something for someone that you've never done before. It could be something as simple as picking up the tab at a restaurant for the family sitting at the table beside you. Or perhaps when you go into a store, pick up someone else's grocery bill. Now that would be a thought. We know how expensive that can be. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And then lastly, to walk humbly with your God. God forgives us, and we keep on trying. That's all there is to it. We do not stop living for God because of our failures. And if summaries of his will help us, all the better. So think about it this week. What are some of the ways that you can act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God? After all, Lord, life can sometimes be complicated. But teach us in simplicity how we might love and serve you better. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a great week.